the masters do. It's a story from, from Yogananda's early life before he came to this country when he was uh, uh, still in Calcutta with his guru and his father gave him a motorcycle sidecar with a sidecar. And back in those days, that was the, that was the early part of the 1900s. Go anywhere in the world, it was a pretty big thing to have a motorcycle with a sidecar, not to, not to speak of having it in India. And he loved that sidecar, loved the motorcycle. And he would give his guru rides in the, in the, in the sidecar. It was quite a scene, these two swamis uh, driving around at high speed in, in a sidecar. And uh, you're going to understand one time to his guru, Sri Yukteswar, second from the right on the, on the altar, he said, am I attached to it? And Sri Yukteswar, who could, of course, read his disciples' thoughts, he knew absolutely whether Yogananda was attached to it. He said, certainly not. And not long after that, um, Yogananda went to, to visit his family home and parked the, the motorcycle out in front of his father's house and went in. When he came out again, there was a, a, an acquaintance, not a really a dear friend, but an acquaintance looking at the motorcycle with a great deal of admiration. And Yogananda said, it's beautiful, isn't it? And the man said, oh, it certainly is. If only I could have one like this. And Yogananda said, take it. It's yours. And the man said, well, what? Well, how much do you want for it? And I said, I don't want anything for it. I want to give it to you. Seeing how much you would like it, I couldn't even enjoy having it myself anymore. Just stay here for a moment. I'll go back inside and get the ownership papers. And he came back and he gave the motorcycle to, to this man whom he barely knew. And he, he just said, he's, the way he told it, he said, pray to Divine Mother afterwards. He says, Divine Mother, I can't, I can't imagine holding on to anything that is thine anyway when I, see it in the, when I see the desire for it in the hearts of your other children. 